Currently, there are approximately 20 billion animals living on our planet. However, if everything functioned in balance, we could have 5 billion more. But many species have already disappeared and around 44,000 are at risk of extinction. The most recent and largest mass extinction in Earth's history occurred during the era of the dinosaurs, and this event wiped out 75% of all species on the planet. The Tulich wallaby was an extinct relative of modern kangaroos with a special ability. It had night vision, which allowed it to be very active at night. These wallabies measured about one and a half meters tall and fed on grass, leaves, fruits, and other plants. They lived in grassy areas near swamps and bodies of water, but their time on Earth was brief. By the 19th century, Tulich wallabies were already critically endangered, and in 1920, only 14 remained in the wild. A mission was organized to rescue and protect them, but during the process, 10 of them died. The remaining four were taken to a special facility, but in 1939, the last of these wallabies passed away, marking the end of their species. Only one photo of the Tulash wallaby exists. Although there were some reported sightings afterward, no solid evidence was ever presented, and it was officially declared extinct in the 1970s. The short-faced bear was a very unique species that lived in North America, especially in Alaska. These were giant bears that could weigh around 680 kilograms. When standing on their hind legs, they reached a height of nearly three and a half meters, even larger than the polar bear, which is the biggest bear we know today. This bear was different from today's bears, which are mostly omnivorous, eating both plants and animals, except for the polar bear. However, this large, short-faced bear was completely carnivorous, and this led to its extinction. At the end of the Ice Age, many herbivorous animals, which it relied on for food, disappeared, and the short-faced bear could not find enough food to survive. These bears were also incredibly fast, reaching speeds of up to 65 kilometers per hour, about 10 kilometers faster than modern grizzly bears, making them the fastest of all known bears. Today, there are approximately 400 million pigeons in the world. In the past, a species called the passenger pigeon was very common in the United States, especially in the forests of the eastern part of the country. Long ago, there were over a billion passenger pigeons in the United States, but within a few years, their numbers dropped to zero. These birds had small heads and necks, but their wings and tails were long, and they had very strong pectoral muscles, which allowed them to fly long distances without rest. The last passenger pigeon, named Martha, died in captivity in 1914. Since then, the U.S. ecosystem has not seen this species again. Today's moose are large, but compared to the ancient Irish elk, they seem small. This extinct elk could stand over two meters tall at the shoulders and had an impressive antler span of about three and a half meters. Currently, moose stand around 1.3 meters at the shoulders, and their antlers reach about 1.2 meters in width. Although it's called the Irish elk because a well-preserved specimen was found near Dublin, this giant elk actually lived in many parts of the world, from Asia to Europe. The last Irish elk died in Ireland, and the main reason for its disappearance was its inability to adapt to changes in its environment. When the Ice Age ended, the new conditions made survival difficult, leading to its extinction. Deep in the forests of Costa Rica lived the Golden Toad, a very special amphibian discovered in 1966. These toads had a specific gathering place for mating, and in 1967, a large number of them appeared there. However, the following year, only 10 or 11 toads were seen, and after that, only a lone male returned to the site. For years, searches were conducted to find more golden toads, but in 2004, the species was officially declared extinct. In this case, humans were not to blame. In the 1980s, a severe drought in the region greatly impacted the population of these toads and ultimately wiped them out. Canada is a very cold country, 
and we wouldn't normally expect to see tropical birds like parrots living there. However, there was a species of parrot that once inhabited parts of the United States and Canada, the Carolina parakeet. This parrot was truly beautiful, with an orange and yellow head and a green body. The large trees near rivers were its favorite resting places, and its main food source was cockleburs, which are poisonous to us, but which these parrots could consume without any problem. Carolina parakeets had no issue eating these poisonous seeds. In fact, they used the toxin from the seeds as a defense. By consuming them in large amounts, their flesh became toxic, deterring predators from hunting them. Although there were once millions of Carolina parakeets, their numbers began to decline after the last ice age due to natural factors, especially temperature changes. By 1939, none remained in the wild. Today's African lion had an even more impressive and feared relative, the Barbary lion or Atlas lion. This lion was mentioned in many ancient writings, where it was described as a fierce and terrifying beast. It is believed to have been the largest lion species ever, weighing around 270 kilograms and measuring up to 2.7 meters in length from head to tail. Unfortunately, Barbary lions were declared extinct in the 1990s due to various factors. Today, we have only one photo of them taken from an airplane. Paradise parrots, native to Australia, were striking birds with vibrant colors. The most curious thing about them was their nesting behavior, as they only built their nests in termite mounds. This species was always at risk of extinction, although the main reason remains unknown. Additionally, its situation was complicated because it was hunted by mice, rats, and other animals. The last Paradise Parrot was seen in 1972, and since then, only specimens exist in museums. In the past, the Gulf of Mexico was home to Caribbean monk seals. The Caribbean monk seal enjoyed the warm, subtropical climate of the region. They usually spent their time near reefs and islands, where they foraged for food. They loved sandy beaches, and it was common to see up to a hundred seals resting together, as if taking a break before their next adventure. In 1886, Caribbean monk seals were declared extinct. Today, they can be seen in two museums located in the United Kingdom. We know that zebras have black and white stripes, but there was a species called the quagga that was a bit different. It had only the front half of its body covered in brown and white stripes, while the rest of its coat was brown, with a white belly. Quaggas lived in southern Africa in grassy, moist plains, much like modern zebras, and their diet consisted of grass and other plants. The last quagga died in 1888, but there is still hope. Currently, research is underway to try to reintroduce this species into its natural habitat. Australia is home to many unusual animals, and one of the most surprising is the gastric brooding frog. This frog doesn't lay eggs like other species. Its reproductive process is completely different. These frogs would brood their young inside their own stomachs, and when they were ready, they gave birth by vomiting around 25 fully developed froglets. Sometimes, their stomachs would swell so much with the young that the frogs had to breathe through their skin. Two species of this incredible frog were discovered in the northern and southern regions of Australia in the 1970s by Mike Taylor. However, a decade after their discovery, both species had disappeared. The main cause of their extinction was the chytrid fungus. Fortunately, these frogs are part of a de-extinction program in which great efforts are being made to bring them back to their natural environment. Click on the video that appears on the screen to continue learning more with our content. See you in the next video.